Hi, my name is Diana Balawi. I'm a professional makeup artist and hairstylist from Russia and also do a little bit of photography. In today's video, I want to tell you where have I been this whole time. The last time I filmed was actually on my birthday, so it was September the 3rd, and today is, what is the date? 20th of December, so it took me um, more than three months <laughs> to film again. And the reason to that was that I had some problems with my skin. I have been exposed to a lot of stress recently. We had to move from Russia to Turkey and uh, we don't know the language, obviously. We don't know Turkish. And we have to deal with the new environment, like move from the apartment like in Moscow that we were renting there to take everything like we need and we have to uh, another country, taking our dog with us, being worried about how our dog is going to do with this flight because he's quite heavy. So we couldn't take him like in like with us, like literally with us. He wasn't with the luggage in the luggage area. And we were very uh, afraid if he's going to make it like not too stressed out and then looking for an apartment. So I had a lot, like tons of stress recently. And my body was screaming that, Diana, you're in stress. It was showing me so many signs of stress. It, it even affected my sciatic nerve. So it, it's like pinched with muscles and it's in pain. And because of that, my muscles in my left thigh don't work properly. And this all was like happening throughout this whole moving situation. And your body is unable to stay in that stress for such a long time, screaming, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, without any consequences. Other stress factors that you usually maybe are not taking into consideration. First of all, change of climate. In, in, <laughs> in Russia, it's much colder than in Turkey, so it was very hot here. For example, right now, the temperature in Turkey is like Russian, I don't know, September, October, maybe September. So it's <laughs> it's much warmer here and in summer it was up to like plus 39 degrees which is also something that you don't deal with living in Russia. So this is the first factor, change of climate. Second factor, change of water. The water is very different and it's also very stressful for your skin because it has to adjust to the new water. And the third is change of um, your food. Maybe you're eating the same, but the products are different and they have some other like nutrients. And all of that gave me another stress. I've been exposed to more stress because of that. And with all of that, my skin started to break out a little bit. You maybe saw that like I had a big, <laughs> a big thing going on like here and uh, um, I saw some strange like bumps going on my forehead and I decided to write my dermatologist who's like in Moscow and ask what I could do with that. So I started treating my skin, added some probiotics and my skin was getting worse and worse and worse. It wasn't getting any better. And just for you to know, I will just give you the photos if you are not comfortable with watching all of those um, blemishes and uh, and there is going to be more, <laughs> then please just don't watch. Uh, just a disclaimer, okay? There will be some nasty stuff here. And because of all that stress, my immune system, um, dropped so it wasn't as strong as it used to be and I got an infection like a bacterial infection on my skin probably by like it was probably ca caused by staphylococcus or something like that uh, but still I got a bacterial infection and it became worse when my dog nearly died here <laughs> because of a Turkish vet doctor who didn't know how to treat a dog, I guess. 
he maybe maybe he skipped some of his like studies as a vet i don't know but he did some stuff that shouldn't that that was absurd and nearly killed my dog like it was very hard my dog was like a zombie but thankfully <laughs> he survived everything is more or less fine right now he's he's fine everything is okay but he almost died and it added so much stress that my bacterial infection was just flourishing on my face and it was so painful it felt like for example when i was lying in bed like on my side it felt like a brick <laughs> like a brick on my head like was like ugh. it was so bad my doctor looked at all of that it was getting worse and worse and worse and i was feeling very bad like it was very irritated and burning and everything and itching so my doctor uh, prescribed me antibiotics i haven't taken uh, antibiotics for quite some time and i wasn't familiar with turkish antibiotics but i think they're too strong i guess and i was taking antibiotics for two weeks and during that course my gut system said i'm out uh, it was working because I was taking probiotics this whole time, but I wasn't taking like the best probiotics. I was taking mediocre probiotics. And that's why it all caused in my gut system saying just, I'm tired. I can't take that anymore. And although I wasn't like eating anything with um, that may cause allergic reaction. I wasn't eating eggs. I wasn't eating like cheese. I wasn't eating any red fruits because of all of my skin problems. This is what like, the first steps I did for my skin. Despite that, <laughs> my uh, I, I I started to get the allergic reaction. So my whole like face uh, was getting all of these bumps that were very itchy, and I felt so bad i stopped antibiotics but my skin wasn't getting any better so uh i also had like steroid cream steroid cream for my face and it helped thankfully uh but i still got those bumps if i ate if i ate something that wasn't like uh, allergy free <laughs> and this was so devastating to me because i i'm i'm just a lucky person i don't have food allergies and this was my first time dealing with a food allergy in my life we also had guests so some guests uh, came to our apartment and lived with us for like maybe nine or ten days it also caused additional stress <laughs> because i had guests it's, it's stressful my bacterial infection came back to my left temple and actually my left side <laughs> of my face was more affected by all of that than my right side of my face. I don't know why, but but still, that's that's the thing. So a Turkish doctor, I also went to a Turkish doctor because you can't get any antibiotics without like a prescription by a Turkish doctor. So the Turkish dermatologist said that maybe you need to take some more antibiotics. And I was like, no, <laughs> no more antibiotics. I will try to treat it with anything else, just not antibiotics. I can't deal with that anymore. And I was just rubbing all of different stuff, like salicylic acid. They also prescribed me like some other stuff that I could put on my temple. Uh, also using uh, tetracycline. This is, I guess, the word, like um, a cream format to treat it. It's also like an antibiotic, but it's like um, not a pill. So you just put it on your face. And thankfully it went away. It was getting better and I managed to treat it with without taking any more pills. But my skin was still like irritated. It had all s some type of bumps and I was getting frustrating, frustrated even more. And I wrote my Russian doctor one more time, sent her like good photos and actually like iPhone makes your photos look better. So my all of this rash looked better. <laughs> 
like on the iPhone, on the iPhone photo. Uh, so the last time I did the photos, I was like, nah, this doesn't show like the full picture. And I did all my macro photos with my uh, camera. And my doctor looked at, um, at them and said, this is just, uh, this, this is not like allergy or anything. This is um, like your follicles got inflammated, like your follicles on your face got inflammated because our face has a lot of nerve endings and because of stress, those nerve endings don't work like properly and your skin gets inflammated. I'm still in stress. Stress is not leaving me. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just still in stress. I'm taking some natural calming uh, pills and uh, like syrup to calm myself down. I'm drinking like green tea, herbal tea, everything to calm myself down. Uh, but I still have, it's, it's getting better. I feel better. I don't have any more like allergies or nuts or on um, tomatoes or anything. And I'm very grateful for that. And just for you to know, this is how my skin looks right now. It's not perfect. I still have quite a lot of like bumps and breakouts and all of that. So I'm not stressing out. I'm just giving myself some time to heal. So I'm trying to do everything slowly. Don't push myself too hard. Just give myself some time to relax, to sleep a little bit more. My body, ha body has been screaming that I need more calmness in my life, reduce stress for a very long time because actually being a makeup artist is already stressful enough because of, of getting up like very early, like as early as 3 a.m. and sometimes going to sleep as like late as 2 or 3 or 4 a.m. This all is also very stressful and I was in a lot of stress throughout the years and all of this Russian situation moving from <laughs> my country uh, leaving all my family like not all my husband is with me thankfully my dog is with me so partially like part of my family is left behind my friends are left behind all of that is just a little bit too much. And that's why this whole time I was on this healing journey because my like face was already screaming at me, just go take some rest. You need rest. So I'm not healed like fully and I am still working on that. And I'm not pressuring myself too hard. And this is what happened to me. So. What I want to tell you, first of all, please, if you feel that you are stressed, don't wait till your body starts shouting at you that you need to take some rest, okay? The second thing, if something is going on with your face that is wrong and uh, you don't know what to do, don't Google, don't uh, just watch YouTube videos or anything. Go to a trusted doctor because to trust a dermatologist, dermatologist, because actually our skin is our biggest organ. So it's very important. Go to the doctor, get the treatment and just drink some herbal tea. Okay. <laughs> so this is where I've been. I hope that my stress will just go away and everything will be fine and everything will be good and there will be peace. And just all of that, okay? Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go and make some herbal tea for myself. And if you like this makeup look, the video will be out soon. And I want you to guess how many brushes did I use to create this makeup look? Okay. <laughs>